haven't done that. Did that. Did that. Check. Did that. Well, I made it to the top. Better give Alex a call. Okay, I'm in the lighthouse. Awesome. I can remote the power from here, but I'm going to need you to get all the pieces in place first. One of our staff programmers wrote a new idiot-proof failure mechanic for it. Anyways, I think you need to mix the color channels to create white light. When all of the channels are white, the light will power back on. This process sounds anything but simple. Yeah, exactly. That's programmers for you. Give it a whirl and give me a call if you get stuck. I need to create white light to get the lighthouse running again. Phew, fixed it. Time to phone Alex again. Woohoo! Thanks, you saved my butt. Glad I could help. Okay, let's talk about stealing stuff. 
I prefer the term snooping. Whatever, Klepto. You need a distraction? I got one. There's an alarm hidden in Magnus's captain's chair. Back in the wheelhouse? Yep. Hopefully you're using it for the forces of good, but hey, no judgment. Uh-oh, that's not good. The windows are open. Oh, it's so cold. I need to get out of here. Okay, small numbers at the bottom, big number at the top. It looks like the pieces add to the total of the piece above them. That's done. Elizabeth must have locked it. What on earth is in here? I have a feeling Elizabeth never opened her gift. Four crystals of each color, huh? This must be the key to Magnus's cabin. I'll just be borrowing this. Can't check that off. Can't check that. That's done. out of gas. No dice. That should do it for the fuel tank. Hey, hey Nancy, it's me. Are you, are, are you busy right now? Uh, just a little. Why? Uh, oh, no. Uh, no reason. Uh, just checking in. Just wanted to make sure you were alive and stuff. And you totally are. That's great. Ned, you sound funny. Are you okay? <laughs> Nancy, everything's fine. Everything's normal. I'm just doing normal people stuff. You know? Normal. I'm just getting a strange vibe. No, listen. I just wanted to tell you about something. I... uh... Ned... Sorry. I just... um... Is someone trying to hurt you? No, no. No one's trying to hurt me. Dude, give me the phone. No! Uh, this is just embarrassing. Bert, stop! Come on! I... Ned! Ned! What on earth is going on? You've reached Ned Dickerson! Ned, call me back. I'm worried. for. Hi, Mogs. It's me. Haven't talked to you in a while. Like a month. Or seen you. Or anything. Can... Can 
we chat about things tonight? I literally can't believe you still have a landline. What are you, 90? Anyways, call me back. I think I found something big. I want to show it to you. I stash in my bag for now, but I think this could be a part of our big break. You know what I mean? Mox, please pick up. I... I'm sorry about last night. I didn't mean what I said. Call me, please. Hi, Magnus. It's Gracie from International Publishing House. Just wanted to reach out about your latest manuscript. The editors really enjoyed Merman, an exploration of postmodernist masculinity and nautical limericks. And we would love to extend a formal publishing agreement. We do have some questions about scope. We think 240 limericks might be a little much. Is there any way you could cut that down a bit? Anyway, give me a call back and I'd love to chat further. Bye now. Magnus, I swear, if you don't call me back... You owe me this, Magnus. You owe me this talk. We've been together four years. Four years, and you think you can just walk out on me whenever things get tough? Just disappear. That's not how this works. That's not okay. You have to let people in. I love you so much. Please don't do this to me. Magnus, everyone else, fine. But not me. I'm going to ruin you. I'm going to destroy your happiness the way you destroyed mine. I hate you. I hate you for what you did to me. You're going to regret it. Hey, remember the plan we laid out for today? Remember the part when we were all like, hey, we should crash the ship into the harbor and then abandon it, leaving Dagny to handle all the PR fallout? Yeah, me neither. Thanks a lot, Magnus. Wherever you're hiding out, I hope you're happy with yourself. A spare luggage key, huh? A dog bed, but no dog? Dog toys? This must be related to the note Magnus left for himself. I wonder if anyone else has seen these. Locked up tight. Hmm. These must belong with that reference I saw earlier. Four of each color down and across. No three together in a line. This is beautiful. I need to arrange these pieces to see what the full image looks like. Can't check that off yet.
Can't check that off yet. Can't check that off yet. Fish for Elizabeth. What's wrong, Fisco? You look like a giant man just threatening you. Oh. Well then, back to the thing. It's a glove. Wonder who it belongs to. I bet I can break through this ice with a sharp enough tool. Did that. That book mentioned this crow's nest. Maybe there's something here. Hmm, this looks similar to that note I found in Magnus's journal.
It's Soren, and he looks injured. Oh no. Oh, um, hi. Oh, what happened to your face? Gunner happened. Specifically, Gunner threw a bottle at me. That's awful. Why would he do that? Does he need a reason? It's happened twice before. Now do you see what I've had to deal with all these years? A lesser man than I would have packed his things and quietly retired to a nice beach somewhere. I could easily take my work to Reykjavik. I don't know why I stay. Some forlorn sense of hope, maybe. I've heard some interesting stuff about the treasure's origin. What do you know about it? Do you know much about the Dutch East India Company? Not a whole lot. Well, I'll give you a hint. They didn't have any sailing routes near Iceland. Adding the fact that the original Captain Lawrence was English, not Dutch? We have quite the mystery on our hands. Goodbye. Bye now. Hey. I found a strange chest in Magnus's cabin. Can you tell me anything about it? What, the weird sock thing? Sock thing? Yeah, I saw him open it once. It's his personal footlocker. Something about it is tied to the socks in his room. He was always mega paranoid, though. Never let me get a good look. Elizabeth seems like she's withholding information. She still seems pretty intense about Magnus, as far as I can tell. And she thinks the treasure belongs to her. I've seen some exes do some pretty wild things when they're going through the stages of grief. That's why when I end a relationship, I just move to a different continent and change my phone number. So much easier than doing the whole breakup thing. That must be exhausting. Eh, let's just say I don't really do mailing addresses anymore. I found some pretty hostile messages between you and Magnus. Sometimes a girl's got to get angry to get what she wants. Scare people a little. It sounded more like you were threatening him. Okay. Then show me exactly where any of those threats came true. You can't, because they were empty. Just scare tactics, Nancy. Bye-bye. Toodles. Is that Gunner? So much for never returning to the sea. But where's he sneaking off to? There's a hole in the center. Check. Haven't done that. 